I go on Twitter, chat GPT. I go on Instagram, chat GPT. I go on TikTok, chat GPT. I'm just chilling. Even Filmora gave me an ad of chat GPT. I'm just like, okay, guys. Ooh, honestly, I'm really, really impressed. Mm. You see. Mm. Mm, JGBG. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Juliet Kane. I'm a food content creator and I love everything about food. I'm really excited about this video. So let me just rush through this. In case you haven't subscribed, hit the red button so that you don't miss out on amazing food recipes every single week. And I'm excited because today we are going to be using artificial intelligence in the kitchen. Guys, I am not bothered to use my human brain in this video <laughs> because I'm going to let ChatGPT do all the work. And I've been hearing ChatGPT, 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 and I have used it before in responding to some emails, in writing some things here and there. But today I'm going to be using it to write me a chicken shawarma recipe. Okay, so if you've been living under a rock and you haven't heard of ChatGPT, my friend, I don't even know how we're going to assist you, but I'm here to give you the 411. So let's ask ChatGPT what they're on about, big words. So basically, ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence language model. And it has been trained on massive amounts of data on the internet, which enables it to understand and respond to a natural language input in various contexts. So it's like AI that's like, that knows things from the internet, and it's going to help me write a great shawarma recipe i was just about to get into making some shawarmas and i was like you know what people say that chat gpt can save lives can write you articles let me see whether they know me let me see do you know juliet kane of kane's kitchen as an AI language model, I don't have access to personal information beyond my training. Okay, so you don't know me. If you can't give me answers, how do I trust that you're going to give me a good shower in my recipe? Kane's Kitchen is a popular YouTube channel that is run by Juliet Kane, a talented food content creator. This is going to be an amazing shawarma recipe. I don't need anything more. This is all the confirmation that we need. So let's get into it. With my recipe ready, all I need to do is get my ingredients ready. I love this because I don't have to think. I just have to follow the instructions given to me by ChatGPT. So I prepared my ginger, my garlic, my plain yogurt, tomato paste, some lemons, and all the spices I was going to use for this recipe. Blended together my ginger and garlic in some oil just to make the process easier. And this paste is so lovely. Mixed everything together in a bowl and the recipe recommends that you marinate this meat for about four hours and i'm going to use to do this overnight because it's just going to be better mix all the spices together in a bowl and add it in the chicken so the chicken i'm going to be using for this recipe is actually boneless thighs and i kept the fat on and removed the skin i kept the fat on to ensure that the meat would be nice and juicy even after being in the oven for quite some time so marinate this nicely oh my god it's so nice and thick and juicy and i'm sure the um, flavors in this recipe are going to be amazing because of all the spices and the aromatics used in the recipe Once the meat was marinated, I went ahead and put it on the skewer. So I'm going to be using a rotisserie oven and it has the skewer already available. So that's the skewer I'm going to use. And just to hold the meat together, I added an onion and a piece of pineapple, 
this was not in the recipe so i cheated a bit but the reason i added those two at the end is to keep the meat together and also the pineapple and the onion are going to add a bit more flavor because they're going to be a lot of drippings during the cooking process and i'd like those drippings to have some flavor so that's why i put those two at the top and at the bottom and on top of that i know it's going to be so satisfying to bite into a juicy but meaty pineapple and the onion is going to be used in the filling for the pita bread so that's a win-win once the meat was placed in the skewer i put it in the oven and i let this go round and round i was super impatient it looked so nice and in between the cooking every 10 minutes i just opened the oven and basted it with all the drippings and this will ensure that the meat will stay nice and juicy and as you can see here the meat is nice and golden brown it's coming along so well once the meat was nice and cooked i let it rest for about 5 to 10 minutes in the oven and then i took it out and i was ready to shave it off look at that meat oh my god guys oh this was amazing i'm just as i'm looking at this right now i can feel my mouth being filled with all the juices i just want to live in this recipe once again but it was absolutely amazing Once the meat was nice and ready, then I made some quick pita breads. I have a recipe for this linked down below so you can check out the description box so that you see how I made this and you will love them. They are super easy to make. After that, I assembled all my favorite veggies, some lettuce, some onions, some quick mayo, then the chicken meat and then I just finished this off, wrapped it up and added some foil and some parchment paper so that I could be able to cut them into two. And enjoy them and they were so good because i had so much leftover meat i did try a few veggie combinations just to see what i liked better and i think at this point you can add your favorite veggies since you're making this at home you're able to like be creative with your feelings be creative with your sauces you can use your favorite sauces your favorite veggies and then come up with your ultimate shawarma oh can you can you guys tell that i'm just salivating at this this was so good and i really really enjoyed this process mm, juicy mm, judge bg honestly i'm really really impressed the recipe was straight to the point the chicken was actually very juicy everything came together so nicely and now i'm like is is this thing about to take our jobs as a food bloggers is my career as a food blogger dead although you know what maybe some recipes do need personal touch and then chat gpt can't really make videos so I'm still in the business for the next couple of months, next couple of years before they find a replacement who probably looks exactly like me to be bringing you episodes. But before ChatGPT takes away my job, my livelihood, <laughs> let me know down below what recipes would you like me to try? I would actually like to try a cake, like a really absurd cake idea um written by chat gpt and see whether it can come to life so maybe i should try that in the next episode i think that will be really fun like i asked them to give me this Wait, um please write me a an absurd an absurdly creative cake recipe with a visual i hope i hope Oh, wow. This guy has wow. Okay, so they've told me to make a magical rainbow cake, which I made last week. So, are you guys... Am I being watched? 
I hope you enjoyed that video and if you did don't forget to like this video share it with someone who will equally enjoy this video and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on new recipes new episodes every single week and I'll see you guys on the next one okay let me ask what have I always wanted to know will I be successful dear chat gbt